Well, hello YouTube. Here we are, sitting right around, well, mid-September on our wonderful uh, September 2014. Pretty much got ourselves a uh, cooling down fall type of day. The uh, leaves on the trees are changing. They're starting to fall off the old tree. That's a sign that winter is, well, right around the corner. Of course, uh, just going through uh, the yard here, doing some uh, fall prep and a few things like that. Of course, uh, over the last, uh, you know, summer and a half or so, I accumulated some uh, bicycles and that. Uh, some of the ones that I bought as package deals, you know, come with bicycles that don't really uh, pass spec or pass tech, you know. And uh, they have to go, you know, they're not worth fixing or not worth selling. And, um, you know, in this town, it's kind of weird. You can't really give them away. And so basically they end up out of the dump or whatever, right? Uh, I was able to save um, six bicycles this time from going to the scrappers. Uh, there's a place in town where you can donate um, semi-good usable or fixable bikes. So uh, these guys are going to go to the um, to them. I'm not 100% sure if this one is going to make it there or if I'm going to put it down in my own private or if I'm going to put it in my own private collection for a winter project. It's all there, the frame is good and everything like that. It just needs a derailleur and, you know, maybe a set of uh, grips if you want to get, well, fancy. Of course, you know, um, like I said, they're earlier shutting down the yard for a uh, fall there. You know, getting a few of the, um, you know, stuff, you know, tidied up and a few things uh, ready to go, um, you know, to the landfill and that. Um, nobody uh, has even been interested in these lawnmowers, even for free. I was surprised that this uh, Cub Cadet would uh, sit as long as it has considering how many good parts are on there and how many people claim to be lawnmower uh, fixer-uppers that don't want free parts, you know. Uh, surely that carb has got to be worth, you know, ten, twenty dollars and, you know, air cleaner and, you know, stuff like that, recoil and all that, but um, whatever, I suppose, it's up to them. So I guess they will be going uh, soon. Of course, uh, along with the lawnmowers, I've got a pile of the stripped out uh, bicycles. Yeah, yeah, I know, uh, you guys probably see a lot of good parts in there, but at the same time, uh, these parts are obsolete or I have o an overabundance of them already in my collection. So, uh, comes a time where you start to pull less and less off the bicycles, you know, rather than stripping them down to a complete uh, stripped out frame. You just take, you know, one or two little cherry pieces off them and the rest of them go, you know. A lot of these bicycles have bent rims or they're broken, bent, vandalized, whatever. And that's basically how, you know, I get them to begin with, you know. If they were any good, um, I wouldn't end up with them. They would go straight out, you know, t to somebody else to be fixed. You know, I get the garbage or the scraps, you know. Every once in a while I do luck into a good bike and, uh, you know, that just needs a tune-up or a fix-up or I happen to get two or three of the same bike and I can make, well, one of the two, right? So unfortunately, like I said earlier, these are the ones that aren't the uh, cream of the crop. They are the, you know, the seconds or the, the, the thirds, you know, the rejects, if you will. So of course, you know, I strip them out and, uh, well, let them go. You know, a lot of these parts I already have excess of, so basically they, you know, they go, right? Well, of course, the old Marathon trailer, well, it still hasn't got its maintenance. I, I'm sure it's been, uh, you know, two years later by now, but uh, I'm hoping um, I can get out of this fall before it gets too, too cold just to get it ready for winter. You know, it should have lights on it. The uh, trailer jack itself it still needs to be uh, adjusted. It doesn't quite uh, work the way it's supposed to. I think it's because of the, uh, um, it has too long a bolts and the position that it is on the frame. So we'll have to deal with that, well, when the time comes. And of course the, um, the pigtail there, I have to get uh, changed out and, you know, the broken tail light at the back. Well, basically the beachcomber uh, sat around all, you know, spring and summer again. We were in it there, uh, whatever it was, a couple months ago and had a look around, but that was it. Um, the condition of it is actually, I think, getting worse than what it was, you know, that a year ago there before I broke the old hand. So 
hey, the longer it sits, the worse it's going to get, I, I suppose. Well, the big shed is good. You know, I got in there a few weeks ago and built a couple of shelves in there for storage and that. So, you know, that one there is starting to uh, come together and uh, re realize it's, well, final vision. Of course, the trucks are doing good. The Silverado and, uh, well, the Canyon is, uh, you know, going right along. The, um, the Canyon's re ready to face a, another full winter. And, of course, the Silverado will be there. Uh, like always, as a backup vehicle. Well, of course, um, I don't believe I took you in the garage to give you a grand tour uh, the last time I did an update, so this time around we will uh, go for a tour in there. It really hasn't changed much from, uh, well, before. Um, been in here a little bit, done a little bit of tidying, a little bit of straightening up. I gotta get in here again and uh, do a, another house cleaning uh, session I've got um, a tradesman coming to do some work on the garage for me so I can continue on with the project this winter. So i got to get a couple things cleared out, moved around so he can get in here and do, well, what he needs done as well. You guys haven't seen the video yet of the garage door install. Um, it's basically been an, a whole summer long project. You know, I got in here thinking it was going to be an easy job and of course being my garage is the way it is and the age it is I had to order in a kit to well, install the garage door and the kit took forever to get here and now that it's here well I've obviously ran into a bit of a snag if you look there between the bars the top of the rail there and the rafter um, I'm still not a hundred percent convinced I'm gonna have enough room there for the garage door to come, you know, sliding up and park itself there without hitting the finished uh, roof, right? So um, I still have to cross that bridge, fix that issue, and then we can continue on from there. Of course, I had all the uh, flowers and all that in the front yard for the summer here, just to add a little bit of curb appeal to the yard, you know, considering the planters basically sat dormant there for a season. Uh, this time I decided to make them look uh, semi-pretty and well all the flowers um, did fairly well this year these pots here did exceptionally well it was kind of uh, kind of nice actually and when I did the great big flower cleanup I never um, you know pulled those guys out yet they haven't even got frost damaged yet from the frost uh, these guys out here of course I cleaned up all these uh, pulling out all the ones that can be pulled out leaving in the two there that they claim are supposed to come back for next season You know same with this pot here You know cleaned out all that and uh, stuff like that Of course a lot of my solar lights now uh, Whatever it's been there um, Seven eight nine years later are now starting to wear out So a lot of these will probably get pulled up here this fall and I'll buy new lights for the spring well, uh, for you guys, the viewers, uh, a little bit of a sneak peek on uh, projects coming down the line. Of course, uh, we're going into winter, so we will be at a little bit of a uh, loss for outdoor uh, type of projects. Um, every winter, I try to do a room in the house. Uh, this year, it might be a refresher on the bathroom. Uh, there will be a little bit of, well, garage uh, type videos. Uh, there will be a few bicycle videos here. I'm hoping this, uh, well, this uh, winter, of course, um, I got to get my uh, bicycle shop space there fixed up, and then we can uh, we can work there. But you know how she goes kind of guys, one day at a time, one piece at a time, you get uh, one thing done, another thing seems to pop up, you deal with that, and uh, you know, kind of keep on going, keep on rolling. Of course, um, you know, a lot of you uh, have watched the vlogging channel, um, there's a few of you that are cross-subscribed, uh, and of course you'll know that I went through a, a job change here a few months ago. I'm no longer doing the job I did there for two years. I've changed to a, well, a better job, um, of course, with more pay. 
Uh, sometimes the hours get a little long. Sometimes uh, you get called in on your day off and have to basically drop what you're doing and go in. But one of the nice things about that is they do pay for overtime. And, well, it's pretty sweet there, right? A little bit of extra overtime adds up after a while. And, uh, you know, you can get a few extra things, you know, done, right? But, you know guys, uh, keep subscribed to this channel, keep watching to this channel. Uh, we'll get a few new videos up, a few new projects underway. And, you know, keep on keeping on. And as always, thanks for watching Maxwell's World. Comment, subscribe, and enjoy.